Good morning. I am going to show you how to wrap a wine bottle today with a uh, furoshiki. A furoshiki is a um, square cloth and Rhapsody has them on our website and they're about 30 by 30. Um, this isn't a Rhapsody furoshiki. This is a um, about a yard of batiked fabric so it has the designs on both sides. So I'm going to show you how to wrap a wine bottle today. So what you do to start off is you grab your wine bottle and you put it about in the middle of your piece of fabric that you're going to end up using your fear shaky. And then you bring up the sides so that they meet in the middle with the wine. like so. And then what you end up doing is you end up tying a square knot or a simple knot. Um, for this one, I'm going to tie a square knot and I'll come back to that later. So now I've tied my square knot, <clears throat> as you can see, and now I have these two long arms on the sides. And what's going to happen is I'm going to gather these up and I'm going to crisscross them around the back and then bring them up front for you. So unfortunately, I can't do it one-handed, so I'm going to stop this, and the next one you'll see is with it backward, with it um, crisscrossed in the back and tied up around the front. Okay, so where I am right now is I have crossed tie it in a square knot. What I like to do for this part is actually lay the bottle down so you don't uh, roll it off the table, and then go ahead and tie it in the square knot. So right here, right now, is in the square knot. Um, you can adjust it to if you want the ties to go up and down or if you like it um, the way it is. At this point, go ahead and stand your bottle up again. And what we can do now is a variation with the top. Um, you can take the ties and twist them and tie another knot if you like. Um, or if you only like the single square knot on the top, you can do it from there, and I'll show you a variation of that. So this is what it would look like if you had only tied a single knot instead of a square knot. The variation that you can do is you actually take the ends and you twist them like so, and then you go ahead and bring them towards the middle, and then you secure them in a double knot. And this is what it looks like when you tie it um, in the front. And then I did a variation where, like I said, I took the top, I undid the second knot, I twisted the ends, and then I double knotted it on top. And there is your wine bottle ready to go. Um, you can do it so that the loop faces the front. I like it this way so that not everything is going the same direction so it's not too busy.